statistics you might have seen like math module and all where we used to find the square roots and uh, different easy things using the mathematics of that right so like if I use there as import math and if I want to find the square root of something I would have used math dot sqrt of like if I want to square root of uh, 64 so I'd be using this and I would be getting the results obviously right those are those were the easy things and can be done also with the use of this math module and uh, sometimes also you can use this with the uh, basic arithmetic operators usage yeah like by using uh, 64 just a minute let me make it shorter. okay So we can use like 64 to the power of 0.5 or 64 to the power of 1 by 2 in the bracket. Okay, different ways are also there. You can use NAB, you can use IP and all the different things, right? But what happens like when we uh, want to make it in uh, some kind of symbolic patterns? Hmm? some symbolically things over there okay now in simply what is the main thing is like it deals with the symbolic computations of mathematics right that means basically the mathematical objects are represented exactly in the same manner how you write in your copies right like if there's a question that under root x plus under root y is equals to 5 let's say hmm right so root x plus root uh, y right? but here in this case now if you are asked to print root x plus root y is equal to something now if you have been asked to say like root 2 plus root 3 you would have written just like sq math dot sqrt of root 2 and all right so what if i say math dot sqrt of root 2 i get a value 1.141 1 or something hmm? So that I don't need if something like I just need that it should be under root of 2 that's it very simple okay in the sense of it's I want that it should be under root given as like 2 or plus under root of something as 3 easiest things okay like that so for that we need to use simpy okay that is your symbolic python so we need to need to import this is the first module you are learning first library so we need to check which version we are using oops that would be another so it is 1.6.2 right okay so basic things are there some of the important things as you know right in most of the cases now here in this case if you have imported simply now if i ask to write the value of root 2 you just write simply dot sqrt of 2 and that says under root of 2 is that clear right now, if I say root 2 plus root 3, something that is basically an equation kind of thing, right? So, uh, it would be root 2 plus simply dot root 3. Now, it is being settled, right? And this is equals to 5 as an expression right now. So, I'm not making it in a very much huge manner but uh, let's just see it okay and if i say this is equals to 5 oops just a minute eq ups okay 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 
this should have written inside this and it will be giving you false obviously right so let's say if i make it as a variable x and y now x and y would be not defined obviously so we could do something so see there are a lot of things a lot of errors we are getting right so to avoid all these errors i have two more lines to write and then it would be working in a very good manner so that two lines are that from simply you first import all the things and also you need to import all the variables all the symbols so now it is being done now if i write the same thing you know right like sqrt if i'm not using simply.sqrt then if I just write sqrt of 2, it is under root of 2, right? Now, as simple if I only write now this root x plus something as root y, which gives us a value of 5, this could be an equation of root x plus root y, which is equals to 5. Okay, so I guess that is very much clear to all, right? But don't think of the equations right now okay so basically you have understood the first thing that why we are using it okay the importance is of using things in the symbolic pattern okay giving your uh, you know like uh, values and all in a symbolic pattern okay so uh, let's start it hmm? for those who have joined we are working with simply okay now uh, like uh, see why i was saying like if you're using math.sqrt uh, if i'm using math.sqrt and i uh, just want to write what is the value of under root 8 if anyone can tell under root 8 how do we naturally write that thing what is under root 8 yeah anyone under root 8 Naturally, what do we say that? So, it, so it's 2 root 2. Hmm. Correct, 2 root 2. But what if I write under root of 8, I get the value 2.8 or something. Right? So now, uh, 2 root 2 should come instead of all these. Okay, if I'm just making you know, normal terms, if we talk about, right? 2 root 2 should come. So I should write it in the, if I wanted the symbolic computations I'll be writing as sqrt of 8 okay like that so sqrt of 8 that is your 2 root 2 okay clear now this sqrt has got a lot of things uh, like a uh, square root okay now there can be a 10th root, a 5th root or 7th root, sometimes you see the x-th root of y, sometimes you see that, right? If any in question if it comes, right? Uh, you're making some formulas and all to write the things. So x-th root of y, yeah, nth root of something, right? nth root of x plus nth root of y, something like that. So like in that case, you have to use the function root. So root x and um, what root of x we are using, right? So which root of x we want? So we want nth root of x. So it would be nth root of x, x and then to the power of 1 by n. Is that clear to everyone? And if I say uh, root of y with m, so x root of n plus y root of m clear guys if you are having any uh, queries you can ask all right so in place of this x and all if i give some numbers here like uh, x root of uh, 5 and y root of 7 it should be like this fifth root of your x and seventh root of y I guess clear yeah guys you speak because in this uh, we are learning now libraries right Python was it's okay right because that was a simple thing right now you guys are learning a library if you can if you won't speak I will not, not be uh, clear like if, if you have doubts or not 
Okay. And you'll be having a particular test for this, which will be also included in our, you know, like uh, internships thing. So, okay. So now I'm just going with the basics of the SMP. Okay. Okay. Now, so you, you might have uh, like a confusion in your mind that what all these X and Y are basically. So these are nothing but some of the symbols. Okay, in Python we say x, y and all these things should be defined as a variable. Here do we say that's a symbol. Symbols are just used to define a variable. Okay, now uh, why I have written this line basically? Because any time if I write uh, a variable or if I write a symbol like x, y, a, b, c, theta, alpha, gamma, anything, right? I have to write simply dot a, b, c dot uh, symbols and then have to define it individually. So uh, that's why I have written from simply.abc import all the things. So I only have to use the simple data. Or else if you want to define, see how, uh, if you don't write that line, how you are going to define a symbol. So it would be x equals the symbol. It is a. And then now a would be uh, depreciated import module should be capital S and then now a is your a symbol similarly if I say D is equals to symbol then D so D would be as a symbol now uh, in not doing individually if you want uh, two three symbols at once to be defined like X and Y and Z so I would be making it as then a lot of symbols are there so symbols would be there okay then x y and z x y and z okay individually you can print it see x y z so this is the thing right you have to make it individually one and one all so that will be actually a long process so that we need to find it with the or just write it using the dot abc and then print all the things at once right the easy things that is okay not to be keeping things for a long time okay all right uh, now you might have seen uh, and heard about the expressions in mathematics how do we deal with those things expressions okay So expressions, you know, what are the things? Expression is something like uh, combinations of some variables with some consonants and all those things, right? So if I say there is an expression with say a plus b, so e x particularly is an expression with value is a plus b. Okay. Now. If I want to say that in this expression, I want a square of this expression, what I, what I should do? I should write e x square, that is a plus b whole square. In the basic mathematics we are dealing right now, okay? Clear to everyone? Okay. Now, now in the same thing guys, uh, if I say that this is our uh, a plus b, okay? Now, if I say that B value is equals to, okay, uh, A value, sorry, A value is equals to 1 minus B, then what should be the value of this expression? Hmm, anyone? A is equals to 1 minus B, what should be the value of that expression? Let me check your chat box. 1. Okay. Obviously. So basically what you are doing there? 
what method you are applying anyone could tell that keyword what method we are applying normal mathematics also the same thing we say it. what do we say it as substitution substituting right clear yeah so uh, basically you are going to substitute so we would say that in ex i want to substitute the value of a okay with what with 1 minus b then what should be the output if we substitute the value of a with 1 minus b and we get the value that the expression value would be 1 okay hmm. now you have seen as the eq what i'm writing there is nothing but the thing which we use for writing an equation here in the top you this one eq like if i say now that there is an equation a plus b what you are having right now that eq of e x is equals to a square b square so a plus b whole square is going to be a square plus 2ab plus b square is that clear correct but if we need to verify whether this equation is a correct equation or not verifications of the equations if we need to verify this equations what do we say we would be testing that if this expression value and this values are equal or not that expression is equals to this value or not not giving the equal equals to sign okay and it says true that means the value of this is equals to this hmm? if you use this one this would be false okay because we are verifying the equations so you better have to expressions you can say on expressions or equations would be better expressions you can write here you have to use this okay yeah next sorry then so uh, I guess uh, this uh, easy things would be clear to you right we would be heading towards the next uh, functions like simplifications and all different things okay so like if I say that now our a and b are there okay let's say if your a is equals to this is your a x plus 1 whole square okay and this is your b which would be so this is your b x square plus 2 x plus 1 right so if I say now easy things like a minus b value is x minus x square minus 2x plus x minus x plus 1 whole square minus 1. Okay. Now if we simplify this, the values of a minus b would be getting 0. I guess some spelling errors, yeah. 0. Okay. So simplify would be used to solving the equations. Okay. Now now these equations not only can be of the x and all right that can be of any trigonometric equations too like you know like sine x square
press your cross sin x square plus cos x square now this will be an expression until and when you like convert this to in a simplification or uh, you know like a, what is that call as factorizing for chords okay so you can keep it like if you want to simplify you will be just writing simplify this equation so this equation let's say is e1 equals to this and i will be printing this so simplify this e1 what is the value of this e1 is basically equals to 1 sine square x plus cos square x is equals to 1 divide all of them. right these are the things now the very simple things are there like uh, integers float we'll be discussing first that integer of 234.1 would be 234 float of you know like uh, 23 would be 23.0 then if you want to like something in the fraction formats you'll be using rational let's say 2 cross 3 so 2 by 3 has a rational one or you can put it even like in the pi formats too 1 by 2 something like this okay now guys see uh, if I'm giving a very really quick question okay now let's see if you can solve it so equation 2 I am giving you and this is 2x or let's say 2s plus 5w okay this is your equation 2s plus 5w now better you need to find up the uh, equation right at the uh, this is e2 which is equals to 2x uh, 2s plus uh, 5w now there is an equation which states that 2s okay plus 5 and you would take it like 3 minus s is equals to 12 now 15 minus 3s is equals to 12 is the you know like uh, the equation and, and value has been given to you that is e2 that says that 2s plus 5w right so can you interpret something from here x and y value we want can you print the x and y values from here 2s plus 5w basically okay and w is like being used as 3 minus s or you can see there right so 2s plus uh, 5w is equals to or here like finally you see there that it is 15 minus 3s is equals to 12 okay that is the thing right so can you tell me the value of s anyone quick T minus 3s is equal to 12. How you can solve it? Quickly. 1. Yeah, that is fine. So, what we would be applying there? How we would be writing it? Calculations, values are better. Like values you can easily find, right? But exactly what commands you are going to write it? Yeah, tell me the commands, anyone quick. Or you can use like 15 minus 12 would be equals to 3s then s is going to be used as 15 minus 12 upon 3 something like that s will be equals to your rational of something s would be equals to rational of your 15 
right minus 12 upon 3 this is going to be the value of s that is equals to be 1 is that correct any doubts there guys this should be the way of writing right if i'm finding the value of s then i should need this uh, e2 i'm just removing now or else you'll be confused right so equation says you 15 minus 3s is equals to 12 where your s would be equals to 15 minus 12 divided by 3 right because this will be going in the right hand side and you know right 3 3s would be there right so this could be there right? or else while to uh, solve all these i have a different uh, function also that i'll be discussing you later right so uh, let's say now uh, okay giving you a good question just a minute like Okay, let's see we're in this question over there. So if this question is there, right, and if we need to solve it down, so what we'll be using it, there is a function called for solving of the equations. So, so we need to solve a function, right? So this is an equation, and I say this as e3. And e3 you can see and now because it is being defined, so it is solved. Okay. So uh, let's change something. So 15 minus 3 r is equal to 12. Now r value will be equals to this, right? And then we'll be printing the value of r for not now. So we need to solve the value of an equation which is e3. So value c directly you are getting what is the value is 1. Or else you can just run it from here to see the value, right? That can be sol uh, uh, solved while using quadratic equations, you know, like a lot of good questions if you are using. Okay, uh, let's see some bit of more questions if we are getting better. E4, like uh, if there is an equation with say uh, x square, plus 3x minus rational of 1 upon 2 so e4 looks something like x square plus 3x minus 1 by 2 okay so uh, what if i say x is equals to 2 what will be the value of this uh, thing if i substitute the value x equals to 2 what will be the uh, final answer so how are we going to write that equation e4 value when substituted by e4 value when substituted by 2 in the x would be so e4 will be values we are using right so you can just say e4 dot substitute the value of x using 2 answer would be there that is equals to 19 by 2 and not only 19 19 by 2 it would be okay All right, till here I guess is clear to you, right? Now in some algebraic forms, when you're having expressions, like if I say there is a function, there is an equation like equation, or there is an expression e5 which is equals to u plus b. Now e5 to the power of five. u plus w to the uh, power of five what will be the value anyone knows so can we do this
you also have learned this in class 11, right? Binomial expansions. Or else, what we can do is we just need to expand this. We'll be getting a very good answer. This one. So uh, it does not matter actually, like in which format you want, okay? But whatever you want, you will be getting your answer, right? How many big even it is, you'll be getting your things. So u50 plus 50 u49 w plus 1225 u48 w square, and then see w would be increasing order. Still the 50 u would be going to decrease down, and then this 50 1225 so things would be going on, right? So I guess it's like a cool one to understand for you, right? Okay, it's clear. Right, so expand working is clear, I guess. Yeah, but expand working would be working only in the algebraic forms. Now, if it is a trigonometric question and you need to expand it, then there you have to use expand the trigonometric function, right? So expand trig is there. If you are using expand logarithmic things, then you have to use expand log logs and all. Okay, so different things have their different functions. So you cannot use the one function for everything to use up there. Okay. All right. Cool. Now, going to the uh, next thing. Right. If an equation is there, E6, which says x multiplied by y plus y square minus x, or y is something like this, E6. So this says x, y square plus x, y. If we factorize this quick, what will be the factorization? x y y plus 1 yeah you guys don't say anything all right so we need to find the factor so factor of e6 x y y plus 1 And you no, know, like a uh, factor list if you want. E6. Okay. Right. Then would be heading towards the trigonometric sections. So trigonometric sections is having like you are using theta. So we are, do have all the signs for like theta and all, right? If you are having using gamma, it's okay, or zeta, all the signs, right? Okay. Now uh, let's say if uh, I give you a question, like tomorrow you'll be having this simply one. If if it will be completed today, then tomorrow you'll be having a test of the simply. Okay. So we'll be quickly learning all the libraries, whatever we have. Okay. So uh, let's say if I give you a question that sine theta, sine alpha is equals to So if I just say you, it is to going to be a rational of 4 plus 3. So sine alpha is equals to 4 by 3 and you have been asked to find the value of. So question is now, first question we are going to do, right?
tan square alpha plus uh, tan square alpha minus cos alpha plus that should be that okay so find the value of tan square alpha plus cos alpha if this is the question so just printing it there you can see it tan square alpha minus cos of alpha integer is in top it is not callable Tan alpha square minus cos alpha. So this I want the value. If this is my question, I want the value of this and not needed to code much. So what I can do here is the quick way is I can find the value of alpha even. So alpha would be equals to a sine of this 4 by 3 this is going to be our alpha value right so alpha is a sine of your 4 by 3 and I guess that is clear to you right so I can what I can do again I can uh, initiate this alpha with using this a sine and I can write it out this as 4 by 3 so alpha would be as having a value that is equals to this 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 I guess something for there. Just a minute. Okay. So alpha is equals to a sine of rational 4 by 3. And what is an issue there? Then minus y values are coming. No. It did not come. Just a so this is ups up we have to find now I'm just changing it to theta okay don't worry for that so theta and theta all right and then I'm saying this has to be a sign of this 4 plus 4 by 3 right and this will be equals to my theta value then a sign of this theta would be having a value why it is working as like this no Four and three is there, so if you form a triangle, okay, we are getting a complex number. All right, all right. Uh, let's change something. If we are getting a complex, then we can reverse this as this one. So if you see this would work. Complex, yeah, fine now. So theta is equals to zero point eight four eight zero six two zero seven something like that. Okay. Now uh, this is the value of your theta. Okay, so basically uh, we can find the values now, but uh, what will be the value of tan theta? The first of all, the very important thing. So what we have to do is, if we want to find the tan theta value, we will be writing it as the tan theta dot limiting b denominator to the two decimal places and that would be done in the rational part only so that is a function of a rational one so this okay so tan value is this the tan value 110 by 97 9 by 8 is this something three by four is the value right Sixteen plus uh, what is that? Nine. It's going to give you that three by 
edges the value they are. So that is the problem. Yeah, then it's fine. Mm -hmm. So this is your tan value, right? So you can put it down now that theta value and you can get the expressions E, uh, you know, like let's say it has to be E8. And then you can, you know, like write, write the things E8. Five by eight, we are getting the value. Okay, if you solve and see what exactly the things you are getting. Okay, all right. Going ahead now. Uh, like if you are having a trigonometric equation and you need to solve it down. So like, uh, let's say cos two alpha. Cos two theta. If you are working. Cos two, cos two zeta is there. Okay, so what will be the value of cos two zeta if we want to like you know to give it an expanded form? So we will be using expand this trigonometric equation to this one to get the formula. And then completing the bracket, so this will be giving you two cos uh, squared zeta minus one, right? Like this, and so trigonometric has something that if you want to simplify, you can use that. Now we are using some factorials, you know, x factorial, n factorial equals to something like that. So if we use a factorial equation, so we'll be using fact of like if we say n would be equal to fact of n, right? Multiplied by fact of n minus 1, then multiplied by fact of n minus 2. Over there, fact is not defined. Something like this, right? Factorial of x minus 1. When dividing x by x minus 1, whole factorial and like that. Okay. These are the things. Now, if you have an expression, it's like the square minus y square, and then like if e9, you take an expression, simple things. x square minus you know, y square, and e9. You need to solve it okay so if i say that e9 divided by x plus y so it would be okay let me write it completely so it will be x square minus y square by x plus y so this is an uh, let's say equation 10 and what will be the value of this equation then if we are going to use right this should be cancelled out, this should be factorized. So factor if, uh, factorize if you want, you can agree with the factor. And cancellations if you want, you can use cancel method for this E10 to find things and it will be x minus y. So different functions have their different workings over there. Okay. So this is how it is going to be. Mm -hmm. And then like, uh, you know, integrations and differentiations part are there also so if we need to consider an equation like uh, this e10 this e9 so e9 differentiations we want so let me write it differentiates or let's just write calculus part the differentiation if we go on on right so we'll be just writing derivative of that so like derivative of uh, this e9 with respect to your x would be something like 
del by del x of your uh, x square minus y square. You know, like, okay, this is it. So if like in the projects and further uh, things, if you are doing any projects and you are using this to, you know, write to express the things in your uh, project, in your notebook, you have to use these ways to find the things, okay. Now derivative of this has to be uh, written, right. So if you want to find the diff differentiation of this, like I'm just solving a problem, okay, where you can see that how we would be defining it, like if I say that there is a derivative and uh, how you are going to write up the formulas and the things you are using in your project right in that case this would be very important right uh, in algorithms extras you would be regressions in the regressions you would be using some of the you know like uh, formulas like r or root mean square errors mean square errors and all for that you will be using this or like absolutes of uh, x uh, summations of all the values and all okay so like uh, if I'm using it uh, x raised to the power of n okay so derivative of x raised to the power of n what would be the value of this this value would be n multiplied by x and then whole raised to the power of what n minus 1 this would be the derivative what is it there since there is one the variables of different must be supplied to differentiation x to the Uh, just a minute. So, all right, all right. So we need to write an equation where we are using the derivative. So derivative we are using of e12, let's say. Or let's say this is an e x to the power of n, okay? With respect of whatever you are using, let's say with respect to x we are using. So this is a derivative and there we need to differentiate this so differentiating this x to the power of n with respect to x will be giving you some values. So uh, this would be the value, right? That n x uh, n x n then y x is there where you can use it as to be the x to the power of n minus one. This also you can use. So this function, uh, this uh, derivation could have two meanings, like this, or else you can just write it with the equation this one this right so both are the correct ways to you know like to represent your values okay all right okay now solve uh, functions you might know right I just uh, say you just some minutes before so there what we can use is uh, a very quick thing we will be taking right now an equation is there let's say this is an equation 30 where I'm using this equation as you know like 3 x square plus 5 the square root of 5 multiplied by x minus 10 and it's equals to 0 so your e30 looks something like this which is 3x square plus 5 root x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, uh, what would be the value of x if we need to solve it, right? We will be just using this solve function and we'll be writing, we need to solve the equation 13. Tomorrow you'll be getting some uh, word problems, okay? There, then you have to frame the equations, how you'll be writing up and then you have to solve it. So we need to solve the e13 and we are getting two values that is minus 2 square root of 5 and then square root of 5 by 3 these two equations are there we'll be just putting on and then we 
to be printing up the values. So these two values are there, guys. Okay. So we have this, right? Uh, you you can print one by one, even like this and this two different values: root five by three and minus two root five. Okay. So like that, or you guys, you know, like you can use cos x and all as a formula for that. Right, like if I just uh, write an integration, if you know, right? So, like just writing an integration part. So, equation just giving us okay, summing up today's topic. So, integral if you want, so integral of let's say 1 by. square root of a and b has been defined right so I'm taking this x and y uh, that would be different okay just a minute let me define the a and x as to be symbols very hard to use a and x right and then the equation would be if I'm saying a square minus x square or let's say plus x square if I say that this just is equals to 0 then integral what is again that same problem is like specified only variable from 1 by x square to plus this okay this part is a problem just a second This is your e15, okay? So integration of this e15, this whole part in a bracket. Pasting it here, so giving as again a problem is here integration of this 1 by square root of a square plus x square with respect to x. Yeah, so integration of 1 by a square plus x square uh, and this is equals to 0. I'm writing right, but that is not always equals to 0 obviously not equal so what is that that is an ln of what that is an ln of what absolute value of x plus there is again a value where you'd be writing x plus sqrt of this a square minus the uh, x square or i think plus it is x square and that itself is being divided by a and then there is a constant called as c so i guess this is the value right so that is an uh, log of absolute value of this x has got a part uh, a x square no that is actually uh, being involved there itself so i guess X is being taken outside. Oops, okay, no problem. Somewhere we had a mistake that actually X is added here itself. So ln plus all these comes here plus a constant. I am not using if if not using a constant, then it will be again okay. So just a second. This in the square root. So square root of this divided by our a. Okay, this whole is completely divided by a. Okay, this whole is completely divided by a, and this is thing, right? And then we can use now. Now we can use as plus c to get the thing. Now, like 
like this okay so this is a complete output so i guess right you you can now uh, understand how things would be cleared there right just a second hello